How much is too much to spend on school spirit? An East Valley Booster Club at the center of a growing controversy tonight because of a massive statue and its six-figure price tag. ABC 15's Danielle Lerner digging into what's happening at Higley High School in Gilbert. The Higley High School campus has plenty of night pride on display, but a new project would take that school spirit to new heights. A 10-foot bronze statue currently molded in clay by a sculptor in Utah, but ultimately placed in the school's courtyard at a cost of $100,000. I had no idea that the reaction would be strong. Allison Day is president of the school's booster club, United Kingdom. Several people praising the project on Facebook, saying it's a great representation of school spirit. And think of how many families will be a part of such a historical night that will be there for years to come. But other posts are circulating online from parents and teachers who feel blindsided by sticker shock. One mom telling me, quote, a grotesquely huge statue on our campus is unacceptable. Pat Tillmans is six foot tall and he died for our country. Can you see how some people might be taken aback by the price tag on this, given some of the difficulties in education funding that our schools are having? Day says they're already about $50,000 into the project, all private donations raised specifically for this statue, so no taxpayer dollars or student money involved. But there are questions about why production is already underway when the full amount hasn't been raised and the Higley School Board still needs to vote to accept the statue. Day says she did everything she knew was required. I would like to put the students first and to do something of inspiration, something memorable, something that gives the kids something to look to. For now, production and fundraising are on hold until the school board votes on April 15th. If they turn it down, there's a chance the $50,000 donors already put in could be a total loss. In Gilbert, Danielle Lerner, ABC 15, Arizona.